Hi, I'm Bellamy Young. Watch Scandal on Watch Ever. And you're caught up, right? You've seen through the third series? Spoil me if you want to. Okay, okay, wonderful. Um, I don't have any idea what's going to happen next year. I know that seems like a crazy answer, but we just get the scripts the day before we start shooting, and they keep everything very close to the vest. Uh, I can, can't even imagine. Our writers are such geniuses that, I don't know, I'm ripping out stitches. I don't know. Please try to imagine, or what would you wish, what could be a direction for Melly? Well, we left off at an absolutely gutted moment for Fitz and Melly. Um, uh, we were in the best of times because we've won another four years in the White House, which is terrific. But we were absolutely in the worst of times because we'd lost our son. I, um, I, I imagine we'll start right back up there because that's such a fertile moment for pain and drama. And Shonda loves to poke at your sort of soft underbelly when you're down and out. Um, <laughs> So I think it might be healing and trying to find our footing again as a couple, because we are quite united in our grief, but still quite divided in that in his grief he called out for live. Um, so I think it'll be full of pain. That's what I think. Um, and I'm sure a bit of hilarity somehow. <laughs> uh, Melly Grant is a very determined character, willing to do everything for her goals. And um, what drives her to be part of dark conspiracies, keeping even the secret of being raped to herself mm. just to preserve her power? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know if I see it that way. Um, I think when you go through something that formative, um, more often than not, you build a uh, an increasing amount of shame, what becomes an avalanche of shame. Uh, and it is very hard to push through that and connect again with someone, to be vulnerable again, especially with the people that you love the most. I felt Melly as a character trying to tell Fitz the truth so many times over the, you know, the 14 years that we've known them as a couple um, since it happened. But I think it was too much terror. Would he hate me? Would he leave me? Would he judge me? Um, and it was such uh, an amazing moment that he loved me through it. When Olivia told him my truth, I could never even work up to telling him my truth. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I think. Um, um, did you have some kind of inspiration for your role of Melly Gwen? Did you take a look at other first ladies or something? I'm very fortunate that the scripts come to me so beautiful that I could really be a really lazy actor and just say the words as they're written on the page and it would still be sort of an astonishing story. Um, I, when I was hired, just had two lines and I started out with a very small story arc, but as it's grown, um, it's been so much fun to really become a student of history. The Office of the First Lady is quite an unsung history and our schools as we're growing up. So it's been incredible and edifying to go back and learn about these women. It's always taken a union to run the union. And so to learn as far back as Julia Grant and Dolly Madison, that those women were uh, handling the home front uh, while their men were off handling the states. Um, and I have been continually inspired by how much of their power each of the first ladies has been able to bring into the public eye. And I think never have we had a more astonishing example of that than Michelle Obama. I think she is formidable in her ability to be in her power and her fem femininity. She is um, really an inspiration. Um, just recently it was reported um, that your husband had the chance to meet Barack Obama. Yes! And, um, if you could choose, what would you choose? Uh, Barack Obama or Michelle Obama, the first lady? I was there with him. I met them both. So oh. I don't have to choose. <laughs> Yay! I win. Uh, we went together to the White House Correspondents' Dinner, Tony and yeah. I. And um, it was astonishing. Uh, Barack Obama, when he saw Tony, as we walked up on the dais, he said, Mr. President, Mr. President. He introduced himself, as if we didn't know. Uh, and Michelle Obama, you're all caught up, so I can say. She said to me, before hello, before anything, why did you kill your son? And I said, oh, <laughs> don't be mad at me. And then we just hugged a little bit. Um, so they watched, and it was an incredible, surreal moment. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. I'm going to take my water with me because I'm selfish. I'm still here. I'm going to keep my water with me because I'm selfish. <laughs>